What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome to Martha is Dead. I almost did not see this game. The only reason I saw it is because of people complaining about Sony censoring certain scenes on the PlayStation adaptation of the game. So I decided... Okay. I decided to go ahead and get it on the PC because I wanted to see all that. So this is my uh, heads up now. If uh, creepy, really, really out there stuff isn't for you, I wouldn't watch it. I don't know what's going to happen. I know I heard of a, of a specific scene that occurred and a lot of people said it shouldn't have even been in a game. However, this is video games. There are a lot of scenes out there that should not exist in video games. But we're going to get into this. We're going to see about uh, getting through this game. And then as soon as Shadow Warrior 3 drops, which I have pre-ordered, by the way, we're going to move on to that too. And if I got to play both at the same time, so be it. Let's get in here. The story of Martha is dead and its featured characters are a work of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma, and self-harm. The game is not recommended for players who may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. If you or someone else you know, yep, that's actually a really nice touch. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and speak on that. Um, I've had kind of a rough day today. You know, uh, today is my dad's birthday. And he has been gone since 2006. So if you need help, if anybody that is watching this video is struggling in the world and you don't know what you're going to do and it just all feels pointless, don't feel that way. Reach out. Reach out to somebody. Get some help. You're not alone in this world and you never will be, especially if you are a part of my community. And if I got to be the person you reach out to, then dadgummit, give me a pathway and I'll walk it with you. I see those scars on your face. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia K. I'm glad you are here. Okay. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I might have to mess I with the graphics a bit too. It's been a while since I... Recorded on the PC, I so forgot how tricky some things could be. I really I need to upgrade this sucker. My memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929. Whoa, that's when way they sent me back. Off to stay with my nanny. New chapter. The Legend, Summer of Nanny, 1929. will you tell me the story of the White Lady? Wasn't that during no, the Great Depression? Sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. Whoa. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things. Or well, at least Even the Great Depression in America. I don't think Just this like is in America. Just like soldiers to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. Aww. She still scares me a little, though. So now I'll be I love the little woman. soldiers. I me. used to have some of those Does myself. She kill those who love her? Of course not. Got the Monopoly that board right there. Because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother. So do Okay, so Julia and do Martha. Our no. sisters. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but 
I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Aww. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. Okay. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. <laughs> since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, mm. could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Mm. Please. Oh, please. It's like, you ain't then young no more. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. Kids. Sometimes it's hard to say no. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. The mind of a Every child. Night I would ask her to tell me about it even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. The White Lady. To move the camera. According to an Let's ancient look around legend, a little bit. We got ourselves our uh, little toes. The spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. Man, this is some good art in this book though. Wow. She was expecting a lover's stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. And she had no idea. So much hope and desire. Wow. That death, not love, was awaiting her. Wow. Speak up or keep listening. Whoa. Oh, we have to hold it. I thought it was a button press. In despair, I didn't realize this was going to be decision based. He killed her out of jealousy. So he was hanged on the small island Ooh. in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. We getting in deep already. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. He probably put it in the lake. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. Man. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. Wow, man. That is when tragic. Rises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. I'd be scared, but you know, I'm into it. Let's keep let's keep listening. I'd be scared, but I, Every I'm time into the it. The sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul. She takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth, even just for an instant. The lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Man, this story is deep. There's that dadgum tree. Good night, Nanny. Good night, my love. Mm -mm -mm. So that was a deep story. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Even after death. Just imagine that, like, being in literal purgatory. I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories did not really? return until 15 years later, in 1944, what? when I stayed in that house. What? I enjoyed what the setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. What? What what happened to I your was memories? To photograph animals. Or whatever else was in that damned place. Okay, so apparently where she was was not good. Are we in it now? The lake. Wow. And, and what's really crazy is you look at the camera. And it literally blurs everything else out. That is so cool. Oh, 
I like this a lot. Now I guess we're gonna set the camera up to take pictures or what? Alright, RT. Oh, we're rotating it? Wheel off the film. Um, assuming I'm doing that correctly, uh, okay. <laughs> oh. Remove the old roll of film. I was supposed to, I think, like, lean it in a certain direction. Because I just pressed it down, and it did that. Up. Okay, that's how we do it. Close the camera. Both triggers. Close the camera. Load the film. And bada bing, bada boom. Activate the timer. She'd be ready to go. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. Okay. Down. Ooh, this is I'm unique. On the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. That is unique. Use R to move the lens. That is a whole body. That is a whole body. Bro, what? What? Is that a person? I must help them. Bro, what? That is nuts, dude. It's just out there. Was that the was that the white lady? I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. I think it was the white lady. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. Man. Oh, we're going in there. So we don't really do a lot of moving around it's button props. Wow, just straight in there. God, you're a fast swimmer. Oh, now I can move. Oh my God. All right, let's look at the fish. All right, let's look at everything. Man. Oh, why do I feel like there's gonna be a jump scare inbound? Oh, I thought the body started floating down. Do not jump scare me. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged huh? that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister. My twin. Oh! Dead. Impossible to comprehend. And that's Martha, desperate. right? I didn't know what to do or to think. That's Martha, right? How did she get all the way out there? I have to stay calm. Oh my god, dude. Martha is not dead. Ah, uh, okay, let's inspect her possible. body, I suppose. Yeah, that's smart. Checking for a it's pulse. Not true. You could also listen for a heartbeat, too. There's no need to worry. Everything is fine. I don't know. Excuse you? The hell are y'all doing flying in that formation? Calm. Can I look around? Martha is not dead. All right, let's just try to keep it calm. It's not possible. Martha, Martha. February 26th, 1923. That is tomorrow. <laughs> that is tomorrow. As I'm recording this video, it is the 25th. 
Is everything okay? Are you hurt? Who is that talking? What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run. My uh, parents ran towards me. Oh, those are your parents. Me. Okay. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life. Mm. The pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, Man. speaking slowly in order to. Oh no! Wait. Lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought Hold I was on. Martha. Oh, I, I was about to say. To so I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something oh, that could be undone. Oh, wow. She didn't want Martha to be dead, so she... I would so she... To pretend to be Martha. Yeah, that's Martha. what I figured. Wow. So the detested sister was the identity that died was the sister that died in this case. Man, that is crazy. That's crazy. That one little act and everything just got changed. I say, what is this like manga-esque thing going on in the background? Like, whoa. That was bright. We got the Mona Lisa in the back. At least I think that's Mona Lisa. One day after Martha's death, 10.30 p.m. Sign of the cross. Of, of oh course, Lord you gives yep. life to the dying. gotta, gotta, gotta sign the cross, the you know, be do what Martha's you can. Soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit, so that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Mm-hmm. Amen. In nomine Patriot, Filiate, Spiritus Santi. Let's get it. Eric, did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will... Ah, oh, poor girl. Mommy always finds something for everyone to do. What happened to you, though? This pops to highlight points of interest. Oh, wow, there's a lot... Oh, there's a lot, a lot. Okay, hey, let's take our time. Let's, you know, let's explore a little bit. The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Whoa, y'all are straight up identical. Wow. The Emperor. This the achievement, the Emperor. Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm expecting our recordings because... You know, this is this this story is deep, like already super deep. Like we got to immerse. And Daddy, they are the epitome of wealth and elegance. Mm. But pain pays no heed to money and style. Yeah, you can have everything in the world and still be unhappy. Books, books and more books. In our villa, there must be 10 times more than even here. Wow. Like I said, I'm assuming that's pops. Got a uh, wine in his hand. Thankfully, it hasn't fallen out yet. Uh, we got a uh, Paul Bearer up here on this window. On this window. On this picture. Let me let me let me look at that. There Daddy, mummy, and my grandparents. It seems almost impossible that oh. father is a soldier. Oh, that was the Mother would that was the grandma. If she wasn't a woman. I feel like a piece of shit now. <laughs> Sorry Daddy's about that. Okay. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Mm. Let's see what this is. Is this like a little music box? What is this? It sure as hell looks like it. I can carry it. That's interesting. Shotgun he's shells. Are not daddies. He never went hunting. Nanny must have left them here. Yeah, cause, yeah you got the shotgun shells. Shotgun being the, you know, most traditional hunting weapon. Oh, it's a lighter. Oh, I can light candles. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, let's do that. I didn't realize we'd be able to do that. I could have glossed right over that. 
I could have seriously ignored that. Can when I like? Done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha if you like. Mm. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. And that's now. A time like this. That's now it's me. Still for a second. London oh, calling. We now begin a series of special messages. Joy isn't feeling any joy. The rain has passed. My beard is blonde. <laughs> London calling. End of special message transmission. Interesting. So we are in uh, England? London, England? What's happening? Who closed the door? Closed what door? This door? Erich, Erich, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all can places. I, can what? I get... Can I can I get through the door, or am yes. I supposed to hear this? I must have fallen asleep. I think I might, like, be required to hear something. No, no, there we go. That was weird. What I couldn't. What are they talking about? Ooh, ooh, you ooh can't yeah. Stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? Yeah, no, snoop. No. I want to stay with my daughter. Oh, you daughter. poor man. Your daughter. You have another daughter, you know, the one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You well, should be thinking about Martha. Well, Julia well, harmed Martha. You know that, right? Oh, that's how that it is. Enough, she has now also abandoned her. Oh, it's well, screw you, man. Story. What? Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? So she hates Julia, but he doesn't. Death? And for you being infertile. Oh. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. So Martha was deaf? Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. I don't know. It I would have been better I don't if she think hadn't you... been born at all. She... You're Ooh. crazy. I'm the crazy one? <laughs> that actually scared me? me. I was finna go off. I hate people like that, man. I do. I was trying to say that two minutes ago. I hate I people like that. to get at me. Yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, you. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. Man. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. Message. But now I'm home. Message. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. Don't take life for granted. No. We can't do anything together anymore, can we? Nothing. Man, that I is sad. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. That is so sad. Don't open your eyes, please. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news oh, from the is there area like of La Ramola. War going the on? The daughter of German Army General Erich K was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This oh, and, is what and the we're German. Who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Where, where is this? Where is this located? Because I see all of the different locations on there, but where, where are we at in the story? Mother That's what I want to know. Suffer from the situation. She, she seemed to not give a damn. Death was so painful for Martha, but not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died, and it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. Oh no! That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Oh no! has found I 
Now let's not let's not run towards Martha. Let's keep running to the word I. Let's try to not lose ourselves here. Martha has lost her soul. Martha has lost her soul. Okay, um, so I had to do that. I was thinking like it would have had like a different outcome, but no, I had to do that. Oh, did the, the, the white lady take her? Oh, that's actually, well, or was that in the same location? The camera snapped like it does at every interval. She's now a part of the lake. Nope, not they. I will give, nope, I stole. It's I stole. I stole her identity. I stole her identity. Oh, we are, we are going out of it right now in regards to our mind. Oh, oh. What even is that? What is that noise? Oh my god. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, it's gonna make me do it. Oh my god, it's gonna make me do it. Yo! Oh, it's gonna make me do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, man. Wow, man. Wow, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. So was this, did we actually do that? Like, there's no way we did this. This had to have been like the figurative taking of her identity. Like, like in Blair Witch, how, uh, if you haven't played Blair Witch at this point, I don't know what to tell you, but there's gonna be a card up in the corner. Uh, actually, no, that'd be a spoiler. I don't wanna do that. My God, can I move or anything? Oh no, I just, I just had to look down at her. It was just a dream. Wow. A horrible dream. Man, everything took its sweet time in coming in, didn't it? Sister. I wish wow. all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. What in the hell is with that picture? Oh, is this us? This is Martha and me Martha at the festival of the patron and saint. Yulia. It was only a few months ago, and now. Martha had asked for a picture of me mm. to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. <laughs> expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. Hey, even twins have the their own individual, soul. uh... Can a photo Their own individual the things. Can I yes, it can. Martha's soul? Oh boy, that's what we're gonna go with. 
the camera. What in the world? Okay, so is that Little Red Riding Hood? Uh, what in the hell? That's the one that bothers me the most. Like, that dude has a whole knife in his hand looking at babies. That's, that's creepy. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and... That is creepy. Fairy tales. Like I said, that one just has to be Little Red Riding Hood. But what are the two of these? Like, what? Weird. Super weird. All right, we got more pictures. More creepy shit. Even more scary fairy tales. I don't know, man. Some of these fairy tales might just be uh, stories of the uh, the the area we're in, Our possibly. Home. In spite of everything, I prefer being here. Martha. Can I can open this? Thank you. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Okay. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Mmm... Mmm, that's a good point. I have the choice. So how do I approach that? Do I keep up the persona even all the way to her clothing? Or do I wear my own stuff? Because they're just gonna say you're wearing her clothes. They won't really think of anything of it. Let me look at the other closet. Because I might, I might do this. Can I be Martha without her clothes? Mummy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she will take it. I, in all honesty. I could wear Martha's clothes instead, in the other wardrobe. I honestly don't care what Mommy thinks. Mommy is mean. Let's... This dress is only for special occasions. Oh, well, gee. The other two look the same. Can I like wear that? Good old le fine. I'll I wear the I wear the stripes. I guess I'll wear the stripes. They all look the same. They're, they're literally all buttoned up shirts. That that makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. What's this? I always keep my trinket box locked. Ooh, can I lock pick it? We got lock pick. We got like like lock picks right there. Oh, but then again, because I'm trying to be Martha, I can't be messing around with uh, my oh stuff. Oh gosh, if mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. Yeah, me there we Lego. go. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Okay, we got, you know, butterflies the butterfly preserved. The that daddy made for me. Okay. Nice. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. This grandma Nanny will be visiting. Oh, it's soon. Nanny. Oh, give me that duck. I still like to have the books and games That's a goose. from when I was little with me. That's why the hell am I about to ask myself if that's a duck or a goose? That that is obviously a goose, but I originally said duck. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Oh, look at the symbolism. That's the way that I look at it in this game. Why would I have the ability to look at my own face when I'm pretending to be someone else? Let's get the Louis Everything Vuitton and let's go. Always in my bag. Yep. Open the bag. You have opened Yulia's bag. Here you can find objects that Yulia always carries with her along with any picked up during the game. Objects are listed at the bottom left. Select an object to use or analyze it. Now try selecting the key or the map. Ooh. The key to my trinket box. Yes, sir. There we go. Or is it my... Oh, that's going to be so confusing. There we go. And it shouldn't be that confusing. My diary. But it just kind of is. I guess let's uh take a gander July at this. July 12th, 1944. Okay. This is a new diary. Story time. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. 
a new chapter in my life, a new diary. Right. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. Mm. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Right. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here Oops. with me. I also get to see Lapo Can more often, which is wonderful. Volume thing. He's always hanging around here. It beeps in my Mom ear when it's max volume. Mum is preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. Okay. Oh, we got another page. July 16th, Ooh, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Mm. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. Right. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. Right. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Okay. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But Weird. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel mm -hmm. right when we're together. Yep. One is the more outdoorsy. The other is, you know, in her literature. That's, that's, you know, twin stuff. What do you think? What did you say? Can I open the door? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. I mean, I got plenty of windows in here. Come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk, or I will be in serious trouble. Oh, that's right. Because Martha was deaf. So she has to act like she does not hear anything. Oh, those are going to be some tough shoes to fill. Wow. Those are going to be some tough shoes to fill. Helen, you know, I thought Parent Trap was crazy. Y'all remember that movie, Parent Trap? This is... Wow. This is taking it to a whole new level. This door just says Yulia on it. Strange. Why did they lock my room? Oh, this is her room. As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. But that's just so weird because what's what's the deal with this room? I can run. Uh, what's the deal with this room? Like, why were we in there? Because there were two separate beds in there. So I don't know, man. That's that's a little strange. There are a lot of windows in this house, man. Wow. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, mm. Irina. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera, are you leaving it there? Yes, Irina. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Mm. Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. Yeah, he's just... It's, it's, it's so hard for him to move on. Sad. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, you poor man. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. They're going out and about, so at least I got the house to myself. Mommy's right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. Right. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Right. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Well, with what you're trying to do, then, it should be pretty easy to pull off. Martha always reads the newspaper. I have to do the same as her, so no one will get suspicious. Read newspaper dated the 18th of July. Additional info, it might be on the table. The frame. I must put one of my photos in this empty frame. I always said to Martha I would, but never did. She would have liked it so much. And the camera. 
Okay. So let's get the uh let's get the camera first. Can I can, can I can, can I get that? Can thank you. For Julia to take more and more photos. Dad. Man. I think if I remember uh reading the the camera I plays can verify a that the camera major is still working role a photo. I could in this, uh, a game. There are so many of them out here. I'd like to do that. What's this? Chocolate. Though? A privilege for few people in these times. Ooh, okay. There let's might read be the birds newspaper. around the little wall in front of the house. Well, let's read the newspaper first. Let's let's read the newspaper first. Brutal assassination in oh, San I forgot Cachina. how small. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Man. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. I mean, he was Martha a was general. Not by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. They were talking about, the you know, he was a general and all of that. Do I have to read all this? I mean, I, I guess I can. Firm bulwark, even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defense shot down in 24 hours. Wow. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Wow. Yeah, so I can just read that anyway. So I wonder if it will uh let the mission clear without actually reading it. Yeah, so it did. Okay, cool. To take uh pictures. Ah, uh, here we are. And I definitely apologize if the graphics are real, real crappy or choppy. Playing on the PC, it is a freaking gamble. You are about to use Julia's camera. It's a 1940 uh, roller cord with 120 millimeter film. You'll use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will progress the game's story. While holding the camera, an icon will appear to indicate photos of a point of photographic interest. The icon will appear and become clearer the closer you are. Press X to see your camera and any fitted attachments. No camera scan unlocked. Okay. Look for the subject you want to photograph. Press A or press Y to exit camera mode. Uh, use the camera. You're about to take your very first picture. To simplify the simulation, the picture preview displays the settings as you change them on your camera. In real life, the viewfinder's image is controlled by the secondary lens and only responds to focus. Prepare for your first, pic first picture. If you stand still, you'll be able to fine-tune the camera rotation, pitch, and height. Open the advanced settings panels to make your picture unique. Oh my God, there is so much. Use the panel's controls to adjust focus, exposure, and aperture. Just switch to the extras tab. Here you'll find all the camera's add-ons. You'll be able to use different lenses, filters, films of various sensitivities, and much more. Right now, however, you only have 100 ISO film. Wow, after closing the window, adjust the camera and press. That is crazy. That is so crazy. Subject framed, out of focus, properly exposed. Oh my god, I've... That is so wild, man. Oh, that is, that is so cool! In focus. Wow. Congratulations, you have taken your first photo. Nice! You can shoot as many photos as you want throughout the game, but remember that only a few will be critical to the story's prog progress. Soon you will learn how to develop the photos you've taken. That is so I've dope! I've taken the picture, now it's straight to the darkroom in the cellar to print it. That is so dope! They put so much detail into that! Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. The now kitchen. that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. And going I down to the cellar. To forget. Gotta go downstairs. 
Yes, sir. Ooh, hold up now. We got wine and uh that does not look like wine. I'm just saying. Oh, wine. Daddy is so proud of it. I'm just saying. That does not look like wine. Why does it look like that? Freaking barrels upon barrels of stuff, man. Like, what do you even... There is so much. There's so much. But let's go ahead and develop the photos. Daddy set up his darkroom here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. Right. I'm allowed to use the darkroom when I want to. Man. There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. Man, you take phones and stuff like that for granted. They had to do it like Daddy this back in the day. Daddy had bought here last week. It's old, but still works. He has always loved everything technological. Then this. Will you shine the light down? Crazy. Just looking back at how things used to be. To develop a photo, you'll first have to use the enlarger. The enlarger is an optical instrument that allows you to process photographic paper. After shooting a photo, the film must be developed in several steps. This aspect can, has been omitted for the sake of simplicity, but in reality, the steps are as follows. The film is firstly rolled on a reel and put inside a small tank. That tank is then immersed in the developer, washed, and then immersed in a stop bath. It is then washed again, dried, and finally cut. You'll find your rolls of film already developed and ready for printing. Choose the image you want to print to paper. The preview on the left side will help you choose. Of course, you will see your images in negative. Well, we only got the one. The enlarger allows you to customize your photos even more. You can choose on which part of the paper the picture will be printed. You can adjust the focus and choose how long to expose the photographic paper. With the red filter, you can project and see the image on paper without exposing it. Use the controls to move the paper on the bench and to adjust the magnification and focus. When the three circles are aligned, the picture is focused. Look at that typo! If you still see the image out of focus when aligned, you probably shot it that way. <laughs> Play with the adjustment until you're happy. When you're ready, press X. Okay, nice. That is so cool. Let's let's kind of let's kind of have it up a little bit. Uh, adjust the focus. Oh wow, card out of position, out of focus. All right, let's see here. It says card out of position for some reason. Or does it have something to do with the, with the, um, what is it? The enlargement? Okay, there we go. Oh, I get it. Okay. Now the paper is just out of focus, in focus. Let's go. When the red filter is removed, the image is exposed onto the paper. This process has been automated and made faster than what happens in real life. They definitely got to let you know, hey, they were struggling back in the day. They had to let us know we have it easy. Immerse the paper in the developer and the image will appear. To achieve ideal exposure, take the paper out of the developer when the timer is in the green zone. If you take the paper out too early or too late, the picture will be ruined and you'll have to print again. Okay, well that seems simple enough. Just gotta time it. Right there. In real life, immersion in the developer is followed by a wash, a stop bath, and then a second wash. These additional baths have been skipped for the sake of simplicity. Here's your printed photo. You can keep it in your album or scrap it. 
Not a bad photograph. Ooh, okay. It seems that the camera works. I like that. Perfectly. That that looks super nice. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Here's your printed photo. You can keep it, uh, the Hierophant. Okay. You can keep it in your album or scrap it. You can print each shot as many times as you like. All shots remain available to print at any time. Yo, that is so in-depth. That is so in-depth. That is nuts how they did that. Wow. Oh, so I'd be sitting in the, uh, in the chair doing this. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Start timer. Smiling. Smile. Why were we out of the chair when that happened? That's a bit strange. Hmm. Interesting. But we're going to see, uh, we're going to see how this, how this worked. So. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. We'll see. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. Yep. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph. The <laughs> that is so scary looking. <laughs> Even if it's just an illusion, I want. That to is so her. scary looking. To have a small oh my god, that is scary looking. But I have to do it secretly. In position. Yeah, let's let let's uh let's have it a little off center. Yeah. Let's have it like that. I didn't get the opportunity to like do much to the camera beforehand. Even though uh, I probably, well, no, you, you can only mess with it when you're preparing to take a picture. But she basically took the equivalent of a selfie back in the day. And I can definitely tell it looks like it's gonna come out great. Get it right in the middle. See, there yeah, you go. This is me. Look at that. No one was ever able to tell us apart. Look at that you smile. The slightest doubt and nor did Martha. You got a little the bit of a lazy eye, identifies though. identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. The soul in the photo. Had a little bit of a lazy eye, but... You know, still a very beautiful photo. Very beautiful photo. Oh man, this this game is dark. This game is deep. Wow. I've really got to upgrade my PC because holy shit, dude. I can't record anything on this damn thing anymore. <laughs> I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when... After awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? Mm. I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. And it's crazy. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. Mm. But deep down, the I cameras kept they would confirm my fading memory. That were out there were on a timer. That's right. Of course the door is locked. That's right. On the lock as usual, I mean, if the door is locked, study. if the door we is locked, chill family. out. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. I mean, can so you blame them? this him? is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. Is it nighttime? The rolls. Okay, so we'll do each episode by chapter. That is perfect. That is perfect. So 
I am going to go ahead and I'm going to call this first episode of Martha is Dead here. I'm really hoping that everything went good graphics wise. I'm really hoping. If not, it is what it is. And I believe I might have been able to correct it. Especially when I walked outside. So y'all bear with me. And um, like I said in the beginning, you know, this is the kind of game that'll bring out some some pretty dark, pretty dark aspects of the mind. If you ever feel like you're in any need of assistance or help in any way, do not hesitate to reach out to anybody, even if that somebody has to be me. You know, I love every single one of y'all. I appreciate y'all for being a part of the Grizzly Kingdom, and I'm always going to have much love for y'all. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.